friends and welcome to Yoga with Yvonne. Um, today we'll be doing a nice straight up and playful flow, a little bit spicy. We're feeling quite giddy with all this spring weather, but always remember that, uh, you know, the practice is your own, so take it at your own pace. I'll be offering modifications. So this practice is for all levels. And uh, yeah, get into something comfy. Let's get on our mat and get started. So today we'll get started in a nice child's pose. You can bring your knees wide, feet touching at the back. Just letting your sit bones drop to your heels and walking your hands forward. And you can always stack fists or place something underneath your forehead to bring the head down. You might roll it side to side a couple of times. Closing your eyes if you feel safe to do so. Feeling the mat underneath your finger pads, your finger mounds. Just letting your awareness drop into your body. Becoming aware of your breath, expanding into your rib cage as you inhale. And softening the body as you exhale. Together, let's share a big inhale. So take a big, big, big gulp of air. And then open the mouth and sigh it out. One more like that, breathe it in. Maybe hold it for a second at the top and then give it back. Taking this time in the beginning of the practice to build that awareness. Find your breath. Those are the two foundations of your practice here. And then we build on top of that. And never really knowing where it's going to bring us. That's why we really work on cultivating a nice childlike curiosity. And remember, I'm just your trail guide here. So feel free to be creative and play around on your own if you feel uh, an invitation to explore slightly different. You know, you're more than welcome to do that. Three more full cycles of breath here. So you can find a bit of a softening of the back of the heart, relaxing your shoulders. And we'll inhale slowly. We draw ourselves up into a tabletop position. Stacking our shoulders on top of our wrists, our hips on top of the knees. And finding that foundation here first. Press the tops of your feet, your finger mounts into the mat like you're growing up and away from the mat. So always that balance in yoga. You know, to in order to grow upwards, we need to Build that foundation downwards just as much. And whenever you're ready, we can add some breath flows here. So with the inhale, we'll drop the belly, lift the chest, spread your sit bones. And exhale into a nice angry cat, rounding into your spine, drawing the front body into the back body. Inhale back to our cow, lifting the chest. And enjoy a few more of these. You might keep your eyes closed here still. Finding the synchronicity of the breath and the movement. Sets us off on a good vinyasa flow here. Where we do tend to combine movement with the breath. but never without the breath. So always remember that foundation. If you ever find it hard to breathe, it's a good sign that to take it back a notch, maybe even take a little pause back in your child's pose for a few breaths. 
Let's enjoy one more full cycle of breath here in our cow-cat flows. We'll meet in our neutral spine. We're going to go ahead and awaken our core a little bit here. So making sure you're not collapsing into your lower back, zip your lower belly in so you're slightly tucking your tailbone. Gaze is down, no straining of your neck as you reach your right leg behind you. Right toes are pointing down here. Engage those right leg muscles, find your balance, and then see if you can reach your left fingertips forward. Again, check in with your lower back, make sure you're not collapsing. Nice tight knitted core area here. And your left thumb is pointing up, like you're giving a big thumbs up here. Inhaling at the top. And with the exhale, we're gonna curl in right knee to left elbow. Tuck your chin in. Inhale, extend. And exhale, curl. Nice controlled movements here, like you're moving through water. One more like that. Beautiful. Then we're going to meet with our limbs extended. Option to stay here. You can play around with bending your right knee. And then perhaps a little bind here, reaching for the instep of your right foot. And then kicking the foot into the hand here. Getting a nice little shoulder opening stretch. If you're feeling really stable, you can look over that left shoulder. Beautiful, one more big inhale. And with the exhale, we're going to keep the bend in the right knee, just release left fingertips forward. And then slowly planting the left hand down. Next inhale, see if you can kick your right foot a little bit higher, lift your chest. Exhale, we're going to curl the right knee to our nose. Inhale, let's kick back up. So coming into that cow spine, compressing. Exhale, curl, curl your right knee in here. And this time, looking between the hands. Plant your right foot down. You can inch the left knee back here a little bit, coming into a nice lunge. Make sure your right knee is stacked on top of the ankle. Gauge your inner thighs. Let's inhale, reach the fingertips to the sky. Exhale, sink your hips forward as you cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach your fingertips up. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Half split, so let's inhale, lengthen the heart first. Heart forward. Exhale, we're gonna send the hips back and come onto that right heel here. You might walk your fingertips a bit closer. You can always use props here, blocks or books. Inhale, lengthen the front of the torso, flex your right toes. Exhale, hinge. Two more breaths like that. Inhale, lengthen, keep pulling your right hip crease back. Exhale, fold. Great work. Rolling back onto our right foot, planting our hands to step the right leg back. Into our tabletop position here again. Stack your hips on top of the knees. You can reset with the cow and cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale to round. And back in our neutral spine, find that core, zip up your lower belly, and then send the left leg behind you, engage your left quads, and when you got your balance, right fingertips forward, right thumb is pointing up, so you're rolling your shoulder away from your ear, find your breath here, press your left hand and your right leg into the mat to lift up and away, we'll find an inhale at the top. Exhale, we curl in. So left knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend. Couple more of these. Find your breath. Nice and strong. Two more. We'll meet with the limbs extended. Have the option to stay here, maybe play around with just bending that left knee, 
Right hand could stay on your hip, or if you find it's available, you could try the bind. Grabbing your left foot with the right hand and then kicking the foot into the hand. Pressing your left hand into the mat so you're not collapsing into that shoulder. Steady breath, soft jawline. And then if you have your left foot, just release the foot. See if you can keep the bend in the left knee, reaching your right fingertips forward. Then we'll drop the right hand. Next, inhale, lift your chest. See if you can lift your left foot a bit higher. Exhale, curl your left knee to your nose. Inhale, kick the left foot back up. Exhale, curl the left knee to your nose. And then look in between the hands. Plant your left foot down onto the mat. You can adjust here, left knee on top of the ankle. You can inch your right knee back a little bit. Engaging here through your leg muscles and your core will inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink your hips forward as you cactus your arms. Inhale, gaze up, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, half splits. Rolling onto that left heel. Flex your left toes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. It's a beautiful hamstring stretch here. A couple more breaths. Roll back onto our left foot. Planting the hands, left leg steps back next to the right. You're back in your tabletop. One last cow and cat here. And then we'll tuck the toes, you can draw up your belly as you inhale, lift the chest, and now as you exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, take your dog for a little walk, you might find a few nods and shakes of your head. And then you're really thinking about turning the eyes of the elbows forward. So depending on your bone structure, you might have to turn your fingertips slightly more outwards. That can sometimes help. And then press the mat away from you. Draw your chest towards the space in between your legs. One more big breath here, inhaling. You can sigh it out. And we'll carve a line with your nose to the front of the mat. And start to walk your feet there. Eventually coming into a little bit of a forward fold dangle. Clasping opposite elbow can feel really good here. And just enjoying the gravity helping us here to open up into our lower back, the back sides of the legs. And when you're ready, hands unravel to your shins. We'll inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Two more like that. Inhale, lengthen, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Last one. Fill up with the inhale, heart forward. Exhale, release. And next inhale, just ragdoll all the way up to standing, head being the last thing to come up. The top, rolling your shoulders back and down here. Mountain pose. You might walk your feet a little bit closer. What I like to do, I like to lift my ten toes off the mat here just to feel the four corners of your feet rooting into the mat. Feels like engagement of your core so you're not tilting your pelvis or your sit bones back. You're again finding that little activation of the lower belly so the tailbone is drawing down. Next inhale, we'll reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, planting our hands here. We're going to go ahead and step one foot back, then the other. High plank. You can always modify, knees on the mat. Turn the eyes of the elbows forward, inhaling at the top. Exhale, let's lower all the way down to the mat. Squeeze your elbows in. Untuck your toes. 
Then draw those elbows in as you inhale, lift your chest. Exhale. Coming back down, we'll tuck the toes, inhaling, lift your kneecaps, engage the quads. Exhale, press away from the mat, high plank or modify. Inhaling at the top, exhale, downward facing dog. Come back to the breath. At the bottom of the neck, exhale, gaze forward, stack or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky, full body stretch. Exhale, we'll fold straight back down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop back. If you're hopping back, come straight into your chaturanga arms. If we step back, you can find an inhale at the top. And then as you lower with your exhale, you can come all the way down or chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Anchoring down through your left heel here. We'll inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee towards your left elbow tricep, crossing it under. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to your right elbow tricep, touch. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, right knee towards your chest. And roll forward into a bit of a high plank position. Zipping the front body into the back body. And then plant your right foot in between your hands. Find the foundation of your feet here. Feet can be on a slight laneway. And we engage the inner thighs and core. Inhale, rise up. Crescent lunge. Let your exhale land you there. So roll those shoulder blades down the back. And what's really important here in your crescent lunge is to not spill your pelvis forward and flare your lower ribs. So pull in at your lower belly. Feel the tailbone drawing down. And then letting your jawline soften, your shoulders soften with each exhale. We'll add a little bit of a breath flow here. Inhale, reach your fingertips to the sky. Exhale, sweep your fingertips down and back. Belly is hovering on top of our right thigh. Inhale, let's come back to crescent. Exhale, sweep your fingertips down and back. Inhale, reach up. One more like that with your breath. Exhale, open up, warrior two. So dropping your left heel, reach your arms out opposite direction here and find a nice deep lunge in your right knee. Gaze over your right middle finger. And we'll flip the right palm. Exhale, so inhale, exalted warrior. So reaching our right arm up and back, but don't lose the lunge in your right knee here. Exhale, extended side angle. Right forearm might find your thigh. So you sweep your left arm to the sky, or you could roll it forward so you're reaching towards the front of the room. And rolling your left shoulder on top of your right here, gaze could rest up towards the sky. But remember, a little humble of your chin, so the back of the neck is nice and long. Some of you might explore a little bit deeper, right fingertips down to the floor. One more breath. Next, inhale. Exalt it again, but this time let's straighten into our right knee. We're going to go ahead and turn the right toes in. So all ten toes pointing to the long edge of the mat. Exhale, right hand is going to plant down on the floor in front of us. Then take your left hand, almost like you're pulling an arrow in a bow. You're going to pull it up all the way across your chest to the sky, stacking your shoulders, but keep your hips nice and square here. So don't fall back into your heels. Press down through your big toe mounts. And if your left shoulder is tired, you can always plant the left palm on your lower back. It can also be a nice way to check in that your sacrum is really nice and flat here. One more big inhale. 
And as you exhale, look down first. I'm going to go ahead and cross the left arm underneath the right, crossing it all the way to the outside of the right leg, and then roll your right armpit towards the front of the mat, and then peek underneath that right armpit. So nice little twist here, nice little shoulder stretch. You can always slide the left hand down the right leg. Use the grip for leverage. One more full breath. And then both hands in front of you. Let's find an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Press three to A so your feet, so hands can walk in line with your feet. And unless you've got sciatica, try to keep your feet slightly pigeon-toed. Still enjoying that little internal rotation, so you're pressing down with your big toe mounts and activate your legs, so lift your kneecaps. Continue to enjoy lengthening with the inhale. Exhale to hinge. Two more breaths. Head is nice and heavy. Beautiful. Next inhale, we'll lift halfway. I'm going to turn the left toes a little bit more to the back of the mat, setting up for our side lunge. So deep bend into that left knee. You can come up onto your right heel. Hands might stay on the ground. Maybe you challenge your balance. Maybe you play around with an opening. So left arm in front of the left leg, right arm to the sky. Use that left arm if you are opening up for leverage, pressing it into the left leg, getting a nice stretch into your inner thigh, your groin. One more breath wherever you are. Beautiful. Then both hands come down to the mat. We're going to do a little slow walk all the way to the front of the mat as we pivot on the feet. Coming into our runner's lunge. Left hand is going to stay down. You can always use a block here. And we'll inhale, right arm to the sky. Stacking right shoulder into the left. Press down through your left big toe mount. Keep those hips nice and square. Option to add a breath flow. So at the top, we inhale. Exhale, we're going to hook the right hand underneath the left, sorry, right hamstring. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, hook under. Might tickle your left armpit a little bit. <laughs> Inhale, reach back up. One more if you're flowing with me. Pausing at the top, transitioning into our side plank from here. We roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Now many options here. You might sweep the right leg on top of the left. You might play around with hovering. You'd be reaching your right arm overhead. Or you could do the modified version, dropping your left shin down. But wherever you are, pressing away from the mat, keep your core engaged. And don't compensate in your face here. Soft jawline, soften behind your eyes. And I'll give you an option here to find a bit of a wild thing. So bending into your right knee, planting your right foot behind the left, and then reaching your right arm up and over. So you're now finding a bit of a compression, compression sorry, into the back body, opening up through your heart. And we'll guide the gaze to the front of the mat, transitioning into our high plank from here. Now you might choose to do a three-legged plank. And from here we'll inhale together. Exhale, perhaps it's three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. A few options here. Some of you are looking for more fire. Might find a few more vinyasas. Stay in your down dog or you can find a child's pose. Five breaths, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, find your experience. And 
downward. We'll meet in our downward facing dog here eventually. So slowly making your way there. Beautiful. And let's share a big cleansing breath here, inhaling through your nostrils and sighing it out. Walk your feet a bit closer, rooting down through your right heel now. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to your right elbow tricep. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to your left elbow tricep. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee to your nose. And then look in between the hands. Plant your left foot down. Find your foot in here. Perhaps sink a little bit deeper into your hips. We engage the leg muscles, inner thighs, and core. Inhale, rise up, hugging your muscles to the bones. Land in your crescent lunge with your exhale. So your hips are pointing forward here. Again, check in with your lower ribs. Make sure they're not flaring out. You want to have a nicely knitted core here. Then we'll add some breath flows, inhaling at the top. Exhale, sweep your fingertips down and back. And nice controlled movements here. Again, like we're moving through water. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down and back. One more at your own pace. And at the top, exhale, warrior two. Dropping your right heel, reach your arms out. Find that nice open pelvis. Left knee is drawing towards the pinky toe side of the foot. Flip the left palm. Inhale, exalt your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, and forearm on the thigh. And feel how the right shoulder is rolling on top of the left. You're not collapsing forward. Some of you might explore a little bit deeper. But check in here, it's quite common that we roll to the instep of our, our right foot here, but root down through the outer edge, feel a little lift of the inner arch. One more breath, nice and strong. Hug everything to your bones here as we inhale, exalt it, but this time straightening the left knee. And we turn the left toes in. It's again, finding those 10 toes to the long edge of the mat. Exhale, left hand in front of the face. And find that little arrow again, this time with the right hand. We'll inhale, pull it all the way up. You can follow your gaze all the way to the sky. Check in with your sacrum. Just make sure it's still nice and flat. Wade in towards your toe mounds a bit more, especially those big toe mounds. One more big inhale. And gaze down and crossing our right hand underneath the left. Find the outside of the left leg. Could be up by your hip, your quad, your calf, even your ankle. And then roll the left armpit open towards the back of the mat. So you can find a little bend into that left elbow. You can come onto the finger pads. And then use your grip with the right hand to twist open. One more breath. Both hands. Come in front of you on the floor of the mat. We'll find an inhale, lengthen. Now you have a couple of choices here. I'm going to do another prasarita. So you could do what we did before, prasarita A, hands in between your feet. Or maybe you try prasarita C, so interlacing the fingers behind us, or clasping up at the, sorry, opposite elbow. And then with the exhale, we all hinge forward. And we let the head become heavy. You might even find a few nods and shakes. And remember, don't check out here. Keep a nice engagement in your legs, opening up through the back sides. So we have those muscle grooves. When we engage the one, the other one releases. So here we've got the quads 
When they engage, we can release into our hamstrings. One more big inhale. And exhale, plant your hands. So this time I'm going to turn the right toes towards the back of the mat a bit more. Sitting up for a side lunge. So bending deeply into the right knee. Options are to keep the hands on the floor blocks. Maybe you challenge your balance. Maybe you open up. So use the light, right arm for leverage in front of the right leg. And then reach your left arm to the sky. And don't hold the breath. You don't lose your fire, your ignition. One more big inhale. Now look down. Find your little walk. Now towards the front of the mat, towards that left foot, pivoting on our feet, finding our runner's lunge. Right hand is going to stay down, we'll inhale left arm to the sky. Slide your left shoulder blade close to the right, you could stay in stillness, or you can go ahead and add some breath close with me, so we'll inhale at the top, and with the exhale, hook the left arm underneath the left hamstring. Inhale, reach back up. But your hips stay the same here, just your upper body moving. Exhale, hook. Inhale, open. Last one. And we'll meet at the top, finding our side plank from here, rolling to the outer edge of the right foot. And there are the options again. You might just draw your left leg on top of the right. You might find modify, dropping onto your shin, the right shin. Maybe you play around with hovering, lengthening through the left side body. And we'll give you the option to find a bit of a wild thing. Bending into the left knee, dropping your left toe mound, and then lift your belly, lift your chest. You can drop your head back. We'll guide the gaze now to the front of the mat. We're going to come into our high plank, modified, or maybe a three-legged plank. So left leg might stay in the air. Inhaling here together. Exhaling, maybe a three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great work, guys. Let's enjoy a big inhale. And sigh it out. We'll walk the hands back towards the feet. Nice little forward fold dangle at the back of the mat here. Maybe you bring your hands into lace behind your head. Hug your elbows in. Beautiful stretch into the back side of the neck. And belly resting on your thighs, so allow for a bend in your knees. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead for a nice active forward fold. So big toe pose, Parangasthasana. Take your peace fingers, scoop your big toes up like little hooks from the inside. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Relaxing your neck. And your knees might stay fairly bent here to start. Try to keep the connection of your belly and your thighs. But work with your breath. Each inhale lengthen and use your grip for leverage. So pulling up at the big toes at the same time as you're pressing them down. And then exhale, pull in at your lower belly. That might help with the forward hinge of your pelvis. One more breath. Next inhale, we'll go ahead and find some length here. Hands might come onto your shins, flatten your back. Hands come to your hips. Engage the core, nice strong legs. Press your feet into the mat. Inhale, rise up. All the way to standing if you release your arms. Take a moment, close your eyes, big inhale. And exhale. All right. Let's find some balancing poses. So always really important to stay present here, stay breathing, and to not judge yourself. 
We want to be playful. We want to keep trying. So you can bring your feet a little bit closer. And as you inhale, coming into a bit of a ninja pose, right knee in front of you, fingertips to the sky. Yeehaw, you're finding that balance by pressing down through your left big toe mound. That was more of a cowboy than a, a ninja. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and interlace the fingers underneath your right knee and then hug it in as you roll your shoulders back and down. Lift your sternum. You might stay here or you could open up to the right to so grab the outside of your right knee with the left hand. Right hand might come to your lower back or maybe you reach it all the way to the back of the room. Gaze might follow. Is that a nice little way to continue to challenge your balance? Slowly we engage back towards the front of the mat. I'm going to go ahead, bring the hands to our hips and then keeping the lift of the sternum, see if you can kick your right foot forward and don't lean back here. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Nice and strong. We'll hold for one more big inhale. You might be shaking, but that's okay. And then exhale, plant your right foot halfway up your mat. Turn your left toes out. Laying way in between your feet here so your hips are square. Then bring your hands behind your back. Reverse prayer. So it looks a bit like that. And then, or there's other options too. You might just clasp opposite elbow, even do the interlace of your fingers. But really important here is the squareness of the hips. So see how I turn to show you my back? I pulled my right hip forward. And we want to do the opposite. We want to pull it back. Left hip forward. So inhale, lift your sternum. Exhale, fold over your right leg. And you want to keep pulling that right hip crease back because otherwise we might lose the alignment. Halfway, if you find another inhale to lengthen, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, hinge. Keeping your drishti, your gaze down at your right big toe here, it's going to encourage you to keep the length in your torso. If you look in towards the right leg, we might encourage a bit of a rounding of the spine instead. Great work, big inhale. And exhale, hands come down. You're going to twist now, so left hand stays down, maybe on a block, maybe on your right shin. And then we'll bring the right hand to the right hip, lower back, or all the way to the sky. And some of you might want to try something different here, or maybe add another challenge. You can always try bringing the left hand to the outside of your right foot. Keep breathing. One more big inhale. And we'll guide the gaze down first. Look where you're going. Right hand down. You take flight now onto the right foot. Starting in a bit of an L-shaped pose. So left leg up. Square up your hips. So left toes are pointing down. This might be where you stay. Maybe you challenge that balance. Soft bend in the right knee. Hands come to heart center. And lift your sternum forward. Lift the left heel, so slight arch in your back here. Some of you might reach the arms out to the side, maybe reach them forward for an extra core challenge. One more big inhale. Exhale, hands come back down. We're all going to find some length here. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, standing splits. So start to fold over your right leg as you kick your left heel a bit higher. Or if L shape felt really good, you could stay there. Maybe you play around with hovering fingertips off the floor, maybe for one second, maybe for two. If you are in your standing split, however, work on folding forehead to shin, but don't lose the squareness of your hips. So your left pinky toe is still drawing down. One more big inhale. Exhale, cross your left foot behind your right. So your pinky toes are kissing or they're in the same kind of general area here. Inhale, lengthen. You can have quite a nice bend in that right knee, but working on straightening out the left. 
exhale fold so IT band stretch here the outside the left leg you might even walk yourself over to the right a little bit to find even deeper sensation here remember to be curious remember to find those juicy spots hands back to center Unraveling your feet to hip distance. And then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Whew. Big inhale. And sigh it out. And slowly rolling all the way up to standing. And rolling your shoulders back and down. Take a moment, close your eyes. Enjoy any heat that you might be feeling in your body here. Feel the four corners of your feet rooting into the mat. One more big breath, inhaling. And sighing it out. All right. And let's walk our feet a little bit closer. So ninja pose now on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and inhale, left knee in front of us, fingertips to the sky. Ha uh, yo, yeah. is that more of a ninja nose? <laughs> gonna work on that. <laughs> Let's find some stillness here. It can be hard and giggling, but you wanna enjoy a nice open chest. So roll those shoulders down and back, press down through your right big toe mound. Inhale out the top. Exhale, interlace your fingers below your left knee. And then inhale, hug it in, roll your shoulders back and down. And you might just stay here, nice little hip stretch. You might roll your ankles a couple of times. Or the option to twist to the left. So grab the outside of the left knee with your right hand. Right hand could come to your hip, lower back, or reach all the way to the back of the root. So my back of the room did change about halfway through just to give you guys a better view, but you tried to keep the back of the room the same just to keep my cueing more accurate for you. And slowly bring yourselves back to the front of the mat, hands can come to your hips, lift the sternum and then kick your left foot forward. Knee doesn't have to be fully straight, but work on drawing that left heel forward. But don't lean back. Engage the core. One more big inhale. Exhale, flat your left foot at the front of the mat. Turn your right toes out. Square up your hips. It's going to a little laneway rather than a tight rope is going to help you. Reverse prayer or cloth opposite elbow with the interlace of your fingers. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, hinge on top of the left leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And flat sacrum here. One more big inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Twisting now, right hand down on the mat, your finger pads are a block. Then left hand might just come to your hip, lower back, or all the way to the sky. So did a similar twist already, balancing. So see how this one feels like. Slide your left shoulder blade close to the right. One more big inhale. Look down first and exhale, left hand comes down. Taking flight when you're ready. So coming up onto the left foot, right leg up in the air, square up your hips, L shape is where you might stay today, or if you want to try flight, find that little soft bend in the left knee so you're not locking your knee, then hands could start at heart center, maybe you play around with airplane wings out to the side, or warrior three fingertips to the front of the mat. Don't forget that breath. Just lean into the inhales and the exhales to calm down the mind. 
One more big inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, find some length from your right heel to your heart. Exhale, standing split. Right heel lifts up to the sky while you fold over your left leg. Modify here, you could just do a bit more of an L shape, working on keeping those hips nice and square. One more big breath in. And then exhale, we cross. Right leg behind the left, again, those pinky toes are finding each other or at least looking at each other here. A little bend in our left knee here as we inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And target area, outline of the right leg. So that might be just staying here at center. You might even keep your hands on your left leg. You might walk yourself more to the left, see what that feels like. Perhaps nodding, shaking your head, making sure there's no tension, the back of the neck. Hands come back to center. Unravel your feet. Great work. You can heel toe your feet, mat distance. Turn your toes out to about a 10 and a 2. And sit down for your squat pose. Hands can come to heart center, and you can always place a block underneath you here, a book, or a towel, anything to support you if that's needed. Wherever you are, try to not roll to the insteps of your feet, so ground down through the outer edges, ground down through your heels, and then press your arms into your inner thighs as you lift your sternum. Three full breaths here. Beautiful. Now leaning back, sitting down into your sit bones. You might have to bring your hands back first for support. Feet in front of you. And roll your shoulders back and down. So start by just holding on to the backs of your thighs here. You can come onto the tips of your toes and roll the shoulders back again. So we want to really encourage that opening across the chest. And you don't want to loose it here as you're moving to our Navasana boat pose. You can start to lean back onto your sit bones as your feet lift. From here, starting to extend your legs. Again, knees don't have to be fully straight. You might hold on to your legs and maybe release your arms forward. And I like to keep my palms slightly more turned up. It's going to help me, encourage me to keep that opening of your chest. Steady breaths here. One more. And we'll inhale at the top. Exhale, low boat. So hovering our torso and the legs off the mat. And from here, Draw your right leg up in the air. Keep fingertips on either side of your right leg. We'll pulse for one, two, three, four, and five. Slow, let your head come down. Grab the back side of the right leg and start to hug it in towards you. So your left heel can ground. Maybe to make it more accessible here, you might bend your left knee, planting the left foot fully. And you can always change the grip here of your right leg to add intensity. Maybe you grab the back side of the calf or the ankle. And some of you might even start to draw your forehead up towards your right leg as your elbows turn out to the side. For one and two. Last big inhale. And exhale, release. Bend your right knee. Hug it in. Might move it side to side. Nice little wind relieving pose here as you hug the right knee to your armpit. Twisting from here, we'll take the right knee with the left hand and move it over to the left. Keep your reach arm, right arm out to the side. Look over your right shoulder. That's closing your eyes. Land in 
this moment right here. Let go of what passed and what's yet to come. One breath at a time. Deepen our attention. Slowly rolling back to center now. And hug your right knee in. Then bring your left knee to meet the right. Nice little hug here. I rolled off my mat a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and reach for a full body stretch. Feet to the front, arms overhead. Stretch out your abdominals. And then keeping your chin tucked in here. Start to activate lower belly, so start to send the lower back closer to the floor as you sweep your fingertips to the front of the mat. Inhaling, and as you exhale, start to lift your head, look towards your feet, and then point your feet forward. Activate your legs. Inhaling, keep your lower back flush to the floor. Exhale, lift your legs, and we're back in low boat. This time, lift your left leg to the sky. Hands on either side of the leg. We pulse for one, two, three, four, and five. Beautiful. Grab the back side of the leg. Slowly come down as you hug your left leg with you. And right heel might land the floor left. Sorry, right leg extended. Or you might find a little bend. Make the stretch a bit more accessible. You can also adjust where you're holding on to your left leg. A little forward, uh, sorry, lift of your head, forehead, moving towards your left leg is another great option to keep working very actively into the stretch. We'll hold for three, for two, and for one, bending into your left knee, hug it in, and then start to bring it a little bit wider towards your armpits. Getting a nice little massage into our digestive system here. One last big squeeze, using more bicep strength rather than neck and shoulder strength. And twisting. So guide your left knee over to the right. Reach your left arm out to the side. Ooh. And settle in. few more breaths, might be looking over your left shoulder, stretching all the way up into your cervical spine. One more breath. And coming back to center. You can squeeze your left knee in. Bring your right knee up to meet it. One last hug. Forehead can meet your knees. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then slowly release. Shavasana. So final destination here. Scooping up your shoulder blades underneath your heart space. You can draw your arms a little bit further away from the body. Flip your feet open. And close your eyes. Such good work today, guys. Let's bring in a nice big inhale. Almost like you're pulling energy from all around the globe, wherever everyone right now is practicing. And then sigh out in gratitude. Come home to yourself. And you're welcome to spend as much as you need here in your Shavasana. And I wanted to thank you for joining me today. Uh, it's been such an exciting journey starting to share some of these classes with you. So please subscribe. There are more to come. And I love comments and feedback. Uh, so please put those in the section below. And uh, see you again. Have a great day. Namaste.